Hello? Here it is. Yes, the teacher <laughs> is connecting this in this moment. Hey, hey, hey what's up? Hello. What's <laughs> up? It's a new teacher. It, 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 it's, it's, a new, it's a new teacher right now. Hey, Mr. <laughs> Gio, what, let me see your beard. I see a little more gray. <laughs> it's a new look. Life is hard, man. <laughs> uh, I see more salt and pepper. <laughs> Do you understand that expression, salt and pepper? Yeah. Salt yeah, right now. The gray. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That's cool though. You look like that. What's a singer from Sepultura? Uh -huh. Max Cavalera. No, no, not from Sepultura, from um the guy from Chile. No. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot the name right now. Slayer. He's from Chile. Slayer, yes. Slayer. What's yeah, the name Slayer. of the Chilean the singer? <laughs> Mariah. Mm -hmm. He's cool. He's cool. How are you guys? Fine. Yeah. Fine. Did you watch the soccer game? Yes. 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 Man. Was a a this is what's amazing. He, he played he, he playing well now right now that two. Yeah, he he I don't know, he won uh, to 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 zero, no? They yeah. won. They won. Yes. They won. They won. They won. won. Yeah, zero I'm. A, I'm, a, I'm actually happy to say I'm from El Salvador again. Yeah, right now he is playing the the the, the, the national <laughs> national national team, uh, United States. Yeah, right now United States yeah, is playing. Are, you are, are not, Five or, or, or six uh, players from 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 uh, they born they born in the United States, no? Yeah, Wal uh, Walter Martinez, uh, Enrique Zabaleta. Uh, I don't know that. Oh, that's the, why that's why I never heard of them. <laughs> Yeah, this is four. Yeah, he's six or seven. Seven player is from is from is playing in playing in a um, major major league in in United State. That he he bore they bore in United State. You know that Albert La Roca. Remember Albert La Roca? Yeah, yeah, I know. He found 80, 80 players in Europe. From El Salvador, or at least um, Salvadorian background, that they could play in the national soccer team, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and some are playing in the reserve for um, Paris Saint Germain uh, for for good teams, but none of them wanted to play for El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's intelligent. <laughs> because imagine they're going to come here maybe break their leg yeah. and their career is over. Yeah, and El Salvador would just say, you know, everybody quit party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what's what's new in your life? Anything new? I think uh, Ricardo, are you still working? Yes, I still working. In the same place that you worked your whole yes, life same, uh, 30 years <laughs> 30 years in the same war in the same <laughs> work yes as right. you know right now you, you are you are play, you are working in the same place no yes yes in the that's, same place that's the only job he's ever had no it's uh, before before the, the job. before the job <laughs> i was a professor in the university the national university Oh really? And the, and the mechanical engineers. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Yes. For, for five for five years. Oh okay okay. Yes. What about you, Jaime? Are you still a big Bukele fan? Bukele supporter. <laughs> Bukele. <laughs> I, I I remember you were a very big Bukele supporter. 
Yeah, and support it, and support it to Bukele. Yeah, Bukele is a, is a best, the best, the best president of, of the of the world. Okay, good. You said it, not me. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, but what about bitcoins? What do you think about bitcoins? Oh man, that's good. Uh, it's better. Yeah, the, in the in the sure. next uh, in September, you are you are paying all your uh, well, you have your wallet and not chivo chivo wallet or whatever. Uh, you, have, you know, you have to be a big rich. You are rich. Oh my god. <laughs> No, you are honest, reaching, you are reaching in, in, in September, you're changing your life completely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I, That's I definitely. Like, definitely. I, like the fact, I like the fact that it's not an obligation. For so bad to worst. I remember when I was in Google, I had friends that they already used Bitcoin. And I remember I was always like, this was like four or five years ago. And I would always say, what is that? What is that? I, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that it's not an obligation, maybe. But the good thing, maybe, because there's always a good thing to a bad thing, maybe. I don't think Bitcoin is going to make people richer, but I think Bitcoin could make people invest here. And if they, if they invest here, more jobs. Maybe that's the only thing, that's the only positive thing. But I don't know, but you know, it's technology. I mean, if you think about it, I'll give you one example. What is Uber? It's a taxi service. It's a transportation service and they don't have cars. It's ironic, no? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, okay. what is? what are those uh, download pages right now? What are they? Um, will you listen to music? I'm old school. Spotify. Is yeah, it's, it's amazing that they don't sell albums and their business is music yeah. so um that's i was i was actually speaking with with a friend i have he's from um he's he he was from here but he went to to uh, holland and he was telling me about that that that's the millennium that is, is changing i mean like 10 years ago we never imagined that emails were going to work and they did, and then they disappeared. And now nobody even writes emails anymore. Now it's WhatsApp, and now it's voice. And then he, I never thought about that. He told me, look, Uber, they provide public transportation, and they don't have cars. Spotify provides music, and they don't even have bands. So, I, I mean, something similar would be with Bitcoin, I guess. But, but there's a lot of Bitcoins. There, there's more coins related to yes. bitcoins that's right so there are more so i i guess i guess if it's not an obligation it's good i think but but i will get my 30 bitcoins but that's <laughs> you know what i think about it at that... least that's a bottle of tequila right there <laughs> but the thing is that um i think like if you are not obligated to accept uh bitcoins will still need to go to an ATM to get your dollars out of them. Yes. So that's the point that I don't like. Like, yeah, honestly, but, I don't want to get know, Bitcoins. Give yes. me my money. My it's true. Money. I think I think we need to be a little bit more knowledgeable about that. I think, I think when the time comes, I hope, I hope the government gives a better explanation because right now, you know, in Salvador, we're good for everything, like, to protest, like, Oh my God, Bitcoin, the end of the world. Imagine if he yeah. passed that opportunity. Oh my God, he let that opportunity pass. It's the end <laughs> of the world. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I but, think uh, as long as we can get some more yeah. information on it, on that, and how will that work really? Mm -hmm. How will that really work? The only as... experience I have ever seen on Bitcoin were my friends and Google, but they were, I mean, those people are high tech nerds, one thing. <laughs> And I remember they were um, they were always like looking at, at on real time. Like, damn, damn, I'm, what is that? It's Bitcoin. I, I, in that time, I thought it was stupid. I'm like, you're stupid. <laughs> because they would sit next to me. So look, look, it just went up. It just went down. It just went up. And then they would, I, yeah. I remember now, now I regret, I regret not paying attention because they actually were explaining to me. They, they like to buy games online. 
So then they'll, yeah. I remember sometimes they would get happy. Yes. And then they'll start buying. What okay. happened? Oh my God, I just doubled my money. I just, my money just went up, just went down. So that, that's the only experience I have had and that I remember of Bitcoin. <laughs> but, um, but now I regret not, 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 not asking a little bit more. But <laughs> this was like five years ago and they were already investing in that. Yes. So, yes, right. So that's cool. So, um, Karina, how are you? I am fine. You? I'm all right. How's life treating you? It's treating me very good. <laughs> I'm still working. That's good. Yeah. Wait, I remember you. You work in um. What is it that you work? I forgot. Huh? And what? TBS Sedex. Oh yes, and TBS Sedex. And Jordana, I remember you live in Ataco, no? No, yes, no, no, no. I'm still here. Ah, Jordana, yeah. Ataco, <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah. That's yes, right. and I remember your voice now. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Good. So Pretty good have... place, attack. It is, definitely. Has it been raining in Ataco lately? Oh, yes, every afternoon. So that's such a, it's like a bad point of winter, but I like it. I like it. Oh, okay. But one thing, you know that in El Salvador, we don't have winter? Yeah. I mean, rainy season. Rainy season. What season, actually? Rain what season? season. Rain. Rain. Rain season. Okay, yeah. So is it dry and rain season? Yes. I, uh, I guess that's how, yes, yeah, for tropical countries, tropical weather, they just base it on dry and wet season. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I see. Okay. And, and I always tell my students, be careful with that, because when you speak with someone, let's say, from Europe, and then you tell them, no, calm down in this moment, we're in winter, really, they will imagine winter. <laughs> and you know, when they come here, so why is it hot? It's winter. No, this is winter. <laughs> no, this is not. This is hot. This is rain. Rain yeah. season, huh? It's rainy season. Rainy season, okay. Now, we do okay. have cold fronts. Cold fronts, ah. but they're not very... Um, they're not very common, but... Ah, but they're there. So that's how they are called, cold fronts? Yes, like front in front, cold fronts. Okay, and how will you say temporal? Like, you know, when it rains for a couple of days or weeks, mm -hmm. how will you say that? It's oh, it's season. No, it's been, it's rainy season. Um, there's, cuando hizo una ola de calor, you say heat wave. Heat wave, okay, yeah, I know, heat wave. Yes. All right. Um, cuando alguien agarra zumba. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, not a lot of people know how to say that. You say he's on the wagon. Wagon. The wagon. Recently, I find out that Hanover, Hanover was like. Uh, Hanover. Like being drunk. Yes, after. Mm -hmm. After. After that. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. And you know, that's so cool because in English, it's only one word. In Spanish, it's resaca, goma, crudo. There's a lot of things. <laughs> so that's I... why, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, man, have you ever had a hangover, Jordana? Never. Uh, no, so I, I envy you so much. You know <laughs> why? Because I don't like the idea of having a headache. So that's why I have never. No, nobody does. It just happens. <laughs> but I know I mean, what will happen, so I'll yeah, stop. Yeah, nobody time. drinks, you know, to say, oh, my God, I want to get so drunk. So tomorrow I have a hangover. You know, it's just the next day, like, oh, my God, why? But uh, that was me in my 20s and 30s. Late 30s. Late 30s. Late 30s. Late 30s. Late 30s. Late 30s. Right. No, now I can't. I mean, I do, but the problem is that I don't like to go out. I like to stay home. And sometimes if I drink in my house, like I buy, a, I love tequila. I really like tequila. And I start drinking one tequila, two, and I start watching a concert and I fall asleep. So unless I have really, really good company, I have a friend with me. Oh, yeah. But if not, I just go to sleep. And I'm a good boy. Yeah. 
Right. Well, you know, you know, class, I have, uh, I have, I am developing a very serious problem. Do you know what is tripophobia? Yeah. What about the third code? Yes. Uh, I had a problem with that, with tripophobia, but now it's even worse. What is that? Let me show you. Hold on. <laughs> Man. <laughs> if you have it, you'll see. I want to see your reaction. <laughs> see. All right. Just to give you an example. You see this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can't I can't stand looking at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, I can't. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. I mean I mean the hand the hand is is really that doesn't exist, but there are things like like this, the lotus ugh, the lotus flower. Lotus yeah. Yeah, I'm really having problems. Can you and handle where, that? Where where do you see those kind of things? I mean, like I have never seen those like mm, how how do you say panal? El panal de abejas? Oh, how to say see or beehive. Hive. Beehive. No, but that's not a beehive. That's called a lotus flower. Oh. It's okay. similar. But where do you see those kind of holes? I don't know what happened is I remember once I mean it all started when I was in my job and then do you know a sunflower seed mm -hmm. okay hey Eduardo there you go I only see half hi, of you hi mister how are you I'm all right good I, I just came I just entered thank you all right cool and um, where I used to work there I remember in that time my girlfriend had the car so I would always wait for her and there was like this big sunflower next to me and I don't know why every time I saw it it gave me like this bad <laughs> sensation like Ugh. and I always explain to myself I don't know why I don't like that flower it gives me I don't know I, I want to vomit when I see it and then people thought I was crazy but I never told people you know so I don't like that flower and I don't know why because it's a beautiful flower but I didn't like seeing those points. And then re the years passed and then I discovered that there is um, a phobia, an illness, it's called a phobia. It's called tripophobia, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And then when I went into the internet and then, oh, okay, I'm, oh, okay, I thought I was not normal, but I am normal. <laughs> because many, many people have that and there, there is an, there's a test. Uh, uh, what the thing is, you can't see a lot of holes together. Okay. Like right now, do you see Rosa Navas? Yeah. Do you see her Hello. picture? <laughs> do you see? Do you see those holes right there? Uh, yes. Okay, they're giving me a little tripe of. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why I mentioned to you that oh man, that's getting worse. I, uh, I'm going to change. I promise you. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> No problem. I'm, and then, um, and it's bad because my son has some pretty cool toys and they have holes like that. So, so, but there's no cure for that. Do you have any phobias? No, no as far as I know. Say it, just say, say it, say I am normal. <laughs> hey, I am normal, I think. <laughs> I'm kind of normal. I'm kind of normal, yeah. Is anyone a doctor um, or a medical? Uh, if you are, happy Thursday. I got a free coffee. This person thought I was a doctor. Okay. San, Santa de Vias. Uh, because uh, actually my wife is a dentist, so I went to pick her up to her clinic and I was holding her robe, you know her robe? Yeah. The robe, what they put. Yeah. I was holding her robe and her purse because, you know, they take forever. 
And then the Santa Duvijas people walked in the clinic and they started giving this big semita to everyone in coffee. Mm. So, hey, felicidades, amor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> of course. I said, no, no, I'm not a doctor. Of course I'm not. So I got free coffee. Semita for free. And semita for free. <laughs> <laughs> you see the power of just one. You know, no, I'm getting ideas now. <laughs> You know, okay. to get the robe and go anywhere. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, hello, Carlos. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Everything cool? At this point, yes. Just a little tired, but everything is nice. All right. Anything different from the last time we spoke? Um, maybe this is my first time with you, I suppose. Um, I'm sorry. I it is your first time with me? You weren't um, you weren't with me before, I think from nine to ten. In class, in this class, yes. I, I have an idea about you, to be honest. Uh, yes. But, but it was a, a very long time ago. Uh, I don't know if you remember Infocentros in San Martin. Twenty years ago. I, I remember Infocentros, but <laughs> that was you, I, you're I, right. Yeah, I, I, I used that to work in that place, but twenty years ago, you know. So let's not say how long ago because I feel very old. <laughs> that was like fifteen I'm years sorry. ago, right? No, no, it's over twenty, I think. <laughs> sorry. Oh my god, Infocentros yeah. over twenty? Um I work in Infocentros over twenty years, yep. I was around. But I remember that I saw you after because I think you were selling computer supplies, right? Um, maybe, maybe. I think. Oh, you were you were in some cells. You were selling. I remember yeah, you were uh, in cells. I used to work in, in technology. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, something related uh, to tech. Advertising. Could be. Could be. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, look, class, I got a tattoo. Did? Um, yeah. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that? What is that? Uh, what is that? It, what is that supposed to be? It's a sun and a moon. Uh -huh. and okay. It's infinitive and it says papo. Okay, the papo first one? No, you have more. No, I, I have more, but uh, okay. this, is, this one says, but, but my first tattoo, I am embarrassed. I remember you told something about it. Yes, I'm very embarrassed about my first tattoo. It, but this is Papo because he's my son and he's my infinitive moon and sun. Ooh. Oh, great. Nice. That's yeah, nice. so, yeah. And uh, do, do, do you watch YouTubers? Do you know the um, Catrina Sin Fronteras? I don't know if you watch them. Nope. Yeah, she tattooed me. We we become friends because they're very cool people. It it was this this guy from Argentina and oh, his girlfriend yeah. is from Brazil. Yeah, yeah. They, they travel in a combi. Yeah, they're very cool people. <clears throat> so she tattooed me. Really? It yeah, it was cool. Okay. Twenty bucks. That's very cheap. Let me tell you why I'm very embarrassed <laughs> on my first tattoo. Okay. Okay. First of all. I have a good explanation. I am 43. When I got this tattoo, I think I was 16. Okay, so in that time, nobody had tattoos. Long, long time ago. Yeah. So, so I, I got the barbed wire. You know the, the barbed wire? Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> and so then everyone started getting a barbed wire then it became something like ah oh. so now i don't like to show it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the problem is i have it around and i've always spoken with people you know and to cover it i would have to use my whole arm so first i don't have the time and the money well i don't like to spend money on that because i think i could use the money on something better mm -hmm. <laughs> totally. So I always say this year, I'm going to cover it. This year, I'm going to cover it, but I never do. Oh, and I have an agnostic tattoo, but that's it. No more tattoos. Okay. I'm telling my wife to get a tattoo. 
with my face, but she doesn't want to. <laughs> I, don't that, I don't think that would be a good idea. That's no, I tell her if you if you if you want to attract clients, get a tattoo of me. You know. Oh uh, hmm. yeah. <laughs> People would say, "Is that Brad Pitt?" No, it's my husband. <laughs> yeah, right. Of course. <laughs> uh, teacher, I'm sorry. What's your name? My name is David Baltrons. Great. Okay, so now, class, you are pre avanzado, right? Modulo tres. Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. So let's start. So we only have three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Okay, first, I want to see if we're on the right page. Today's Wednesday. We're going to receive classes Wednesday, Thursday. No Friday, right? Uh, have you been told Friday? No, no, no. no. Okay, good. I haven't been told okay. Friday. That's good. It, they be one question. One question. Uh, after this, this model, this level, you had another level. In... Yeah. The advanced. No, what, what is the, the? You can have to continue with ne next another level, more than this level, in this. Yeah, because listen, this one is pre avanzado. No. Is it advanced three? No. Advanced level three. Pre avanzado modulo tres, right? No, 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 no. No, it's advanced. It's advanced. It's, it's advanced. This is advanced. Yeah. Advanced, advanced. No, it's pre advanced. It's advanced. No, it's, it's advanced. advanced. No, this is advanced. It's advanced level three. Yeah, because I remember three. I gave you pre avanzado. Yeah. You know, no, it's, people, I, I was with you the last time. I changed the t-shirt, no? You're, in you're, advanced you're, too. Wait, don't worry, let me check. Me check. <laughs> David, you are oh, confusing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's Inglés Avanzado Modulo 3. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, right. I was just checking if you're paying attention. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, come on, come on, TV. Yes, this is the top one. All right, hello. After after five uh, uh, coffee uh, coffee cups, it's a uh, very bad in your mind. <laughs> yeah, but you know that this coffee is not that good though. It's very <laughs> malo. Yes, your English avanzado modulo tres. Thank you. And then and then and I, I, I this is my question. There are another level of. Uh... So far, it would be this, and then you know you have the options of toy, TOEFL, conversation. Okay. Okay. All center experience. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Call center. No, TOEIC. TOEIC. TOEIC or TOEFL. Yes. I would recommend you TOEIC. I wonder how does it work. Uh, TOEFL really is not okay. I mean, they're both good. Do you guys know the difference between TOEFL and TOEFL? They be, but what, what, is the, what, is the, what is the different toy with, with TOEFL? I, didn't to, I see the toy is for you working in an environment, English, you understand English, you are understand all common to, to working in an environment of English, but what happened, TOEFL. Okay, TOEFL, T-O-E-F-L is test of English fluency. Mm-hmm. You can speak very good English, right? But let's say you go to the embassy and you say, I want a visa, I want a student visa. And the interview is gonna be in English, of course. And they kind of thought, okay, so you want the student visa, you're gonna study here, et cetera. Okay, good. So we need, we need you to take the TOEFL. So the TOEFL actually only works for that. So you go and you take the exam, that exam just lets People know the embassy know that you do speak English and you know your grammar. You know, it's just like a proof that you speak English, even though they interview you in English. Okay. And the reason why I'm telling you is because the exam is it's kind of complicated, even for me as a teacher. Sometimes you read, okay, you have a present perfect situation with an action unattended in a past progressive. Mm. And you're like, what? <laughs> and you know, you start doing like, okay. And then you, I, I, I barely passed it once. I remember, but it, it's kind of difficult. And 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 in conclusion, it really is like, I speak English, man. I don't need to take TOEFL. <laughs> 
So, but you know, but it's good because then a lot of people would just go, hey, I, I want a student visa. Yeah, do you speak English? See, In, like like then she's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that video? Have you seen that video on YouTube when um, Latenchis goes to get a visa to the embassy? No. Oh my God, that's so funny. Watch it when you have. Okay. Because Make sure. somebody told her, mira, tiene que decir cada tres yes y después un no y después tres yes y un no otra vez, you know. And then the interview was like, do you sell drugs? Oh, yes. <laughs> Have you been in prostitution? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you, know, it's like, it, 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 you know, like the number three is, do you traffic? Oh, yes. <laughs> do you plan to work in the United States? No. It's funny, though. Okay, Watch yeah, it. Okay. I mean, it's funny. So that would be TOEFL. Okay. TOEIC, on the other hand, TOEIC is very interesting. It's very mm -hmm. interesting. I think I explained to you once. It's like, I'll, I'll give an example like in Spanish. Sometimes a student asks me in Spanish, what's the difference between usted, tú y vos? How can you explain tú y vos to somebody who's learning Spanish? It's very complicated. That. Because you, you tell them, okay, vos and tú is the same thing. And you say it to people you trust or people, you know, you, you trust. And so I trust my boss. Can I call him boss? No, 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 because you respect your boss. <laughs> so your boss has to be usted, yes. But why does my friend call his mother boss? You know, it's very complicated. So you stop and think, okay, you know what? Just say usted. Because anywhere... Any, any country in the world that speaks Spanish will understand usted. But if you go to Argentina, um, let's say if you go to Mexico and you say vos, they'll look at you, vos, no, it's tú. You go to Argentina and you say tú, what do you mean tú, it's vos. If you come to El Salvador, it's vos. <laughs> so that's cultural. When you live in that country long enough, you understand when to use vos and tú because it's informal. And then the but, 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 but the Guatemala, Guatemala use boss in, you know, it's common to use boss. A boss yes. that, that's what I'm saying. But in Guatemala, in Argentina, in Mexico, in El Salvador, in Spain, if you say usted, it's totally understandable because it would be the formal way. So let me give you an example. In England, they make fun of America because you say, haha, bathroom. You don't need. You go to a restaurant and you ask for the bathroom, you're crazy, bathroom, you don't take a bath in there. So America comes and says, you're crazy. You know you know what they say bathroom in, in Europe? What? They say water closet. I promise you, it's a water closet. And so Americans say, you guys say water closet. What the hell is a water closet? You know, so then we have water closet in Europe, we have bathroom in America, and then there's a correct way, restroom. Yeah. restroom. So that's yeah. what TOEIC is. It's the test of English communication internationally. It's, mm -hmm. how, it's like how to speak the international language. Right. Okay. Okay. Toic. Yeah. That's why I, I, and it's very interesting. I like TOEIC. <laughs> I remember when I used to teach it, I actually learned more. Like, oh, okay, this is why. Yeah, so if you ever if you ever want to practice, buy it. Wait, don't buy it. Download it. You can download the toy books. So um, they're pretty good. They're 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 pretty cool. Okay, it's like in Spanish. So imagine one day you're gonna you're gonna give, you're gonna speak in front of Europeans, Americans, um, Asians, but everything in, in English. You have to speak a correct, a very formal English, so then they will all understand. Okay. That would I be have tight. a similar question related sure. to these words that looks the same, but they are not. So um, in Spanish, we, we say like taking a shower, to, but what's the difference between taking a shower and taking a bath? Good. Um, in Spanish, in, in El Salvador, 99% of the people take a shower. Okay. Shower is when you let water 
fall on you. Yes. From um, what kind? Uh -huh. <laughs> a normal shower, yes. Bath is when you go in a tub, like in a jacuzzi. In the bathtub? Yes, in a bathtub. So you put the water there and you dip, you dip you yourself. Is the place? Is the place and take a shower in the action, I think. I mean, in both of them, you're, you're getting clean. But you know, sometimes, um, mostly in the United States or rich people here that, I don't know if you've ever been in a bathtub or maybe you've been in a hotel. And people say, you know what, I'm gonna take a bath. So then they go in, in the water and they stay there like for 30 minutes, you know? Okay. Hey, I mean, I'm relaxing. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's more relaxing. So that's a bath. More relaxing. Yeah. The, the Japanese is usually is normal to to take uh, the relax in the uh, the hot water and uh, what uh, about uh, thirty minutes. Yeah, you know who does that, Ricardo? Yes. Cristal R7, Ronaldo. He takes a bath with his masks and flowers and. And all this essence and perfumes, and perfumes. And essence. <laughs> you know, guys, you know, it's not like okay. messy, messy, you know, after a game, he takes a shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? If I, I always tell my wife that if, if I ever have more money, or no, if I ever have money, <laughs> I would like to have a very big bathroom because I like tubs. Baths are very relaxing. You put salt and anything, so it's nice. So that's the difference between a bath and a shower. So that's why uh, our Europeans, they don't like Americans when we say bathroom, because you know you go to a bath, you go to a restaurant, excuse me, where's the bathroom? And when you see the bath, there is no bathtub. Sometimes there is a toilet. <laughs> There's only a toilet and a sink. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, got it. Thank you. So that's the famous expression, potato, potato. Oh. All right, so do you see my page? Yes. All right. Sure. So we have lesson objective. At the end of this section, participants will be able to practice using clauses and phrases showing contrasts and exceptions. Let me see. Gio, do you remember what is a clause? Oh, um, yeah. Um, when we want to, to express something. I remember clauses. I I was studying what? in the, in others in other models. Yeah, clauses. Yeah. When you are speaking uh, so fast, you are speaking quickly. Uh, you join the the words and. And I remember, I remember. Okay, but you're, you're explain, there. You're there. Explain us, please, teacher. No, it's okay. Um, Gio? Yeah. What were you saying? Uh, uh, when you want to express something, uh, it's, uh, I can think I'm not word to express something. Okay, you, you, yeah, you two, uh, Madeline and, and Gio, you're almost there, but you're trying to say a situation, but a class is a grammatical term. Remember, uh, a clause a is, is a group of words. Group of words with meaning word. that usually has a subject. Mm -hmm. so it's good. It would have a subject and an object. In a verb, right? Yeah. Verb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember, I told you a long, long time ago, remember clauses because you will see clauses forever. So uh, sometimes you will see time clause. What is a time clause? When I wake up, I go to the bathroom. Why is that a time clause? Because I'm saying when yeah. I wake up. When I wake up. Wake I go. Up. When I wake up, I go and take a shower. So that's a group of words, you know. It has the action. It has the subject. And it's called a time clause because I'm speaking about a specific time. So um, don't worry. We'll see this right now. Okay. Glosses and phrases showing contrast and exceptions. All right. 
Well done, I remember I always have turn on original sound. Okay, ready? Can you hear? Yes. No. Okay. Oh my God, I paused her in the wrong moment. <laughs> okay, there. She looks better now. I can't okay. hear. No, you can hear? No, yes, I can't. I can't. No, no, good. I can't. Yeah. I can't okay, hear. Now, now you should be able to hear. Hold on. Can you hear now? No, because it's not played. <laughs> no okay, play. Good. good, good. Thank you. I just wanted to see this. I wanted to see if there was a brave person that would say, yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Advanced 3. You're okay. about to learn how to show okay. contrast and exception. Stay and pay attention to the explanation. Clauses and phrases showing contrast and exception. Use while, unlike, and in contrast to in order to present contrasting information especially in writing. While the typical Italian person thinks the school is boring, the typical Japanese person doesn't. Unlike the Japanese, Italians seem to drink a lot of bottled water. In contrast to Italian drivers, Japanese people drive on the left. Use except that, except for, and except for the fact that to show an exception. Both like TV, except that the typical Japanese person watches more of it. Italian and Japanese people are fairly different, except for the age they get married. Japanese people typically consume less, except for the fact they drink more tea. The conjunctions while, unlike, and in contrast to show contrast between the information in two clauses of a sentence. For example, in contrast to most Americans, people here usually live with their parents until they are married. The conjunctions except that, except for, and except for the fact show an exception. Note, when conjunctions come at the beginning of a sentence, the two clauses are separated by a comma. <laughs> Hi, okay. welcome to Advanced Three. Okay, this is You're interesting. Let's do here. You know. First of all, let's see the first one. It says while. While the typical Italian person thinks school is boring, the typical Japanese person doesn't. How can you explain to me what while is? Yeah. Fine. A little fine. I'm sorry, a little what? A little bit of time, I think. Little bit of time, okay, okay. Give me one more. While the things happening in the same time. I'm sorry, repeat. Two things happening in the same time. Okay, okay, there you go. All right. Two things happening in the same time. Anything to, else? If, to express a difference between to point of view? The two okay, things, point of view. Two things happen in the same time. Yes, okay, very good. Okay, yes. Actually, it is true. I mean, it's two things happening at the same time. Or two different situations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because if you say happening, it's in this moment. Mm -hmm. And which is true. Like right now, while, while I am teaching, my wife is watching Netflix. <laughs> Will be related situations. Yeah, mm, mm, no. it's two it's two situations at the same time in real time, but different things. It's like what I said right now. Okay. While I'm teaching, my wife is watching Netflix. While you're receiving class, what is your wife doing, Giovanni? I'm receiving classes too. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, she's in classes too. Okay, good. So while I'm receiving class, she's receiving class too. Okay. Yeah. Two situations. Jordana, while you're receiving class, you are married, right? I remember. Yes. And you have to, okay. While you are receiving class right now, what are your children doing? 
my daughter is sleeping and my son my son is watching YouTube. Okay, good. Yes, and remember this, people tend to confuse while and when. And it's totally different. Because listen to this, I'll give you an example. Yesterday, while I was sleeping, my son was playing. Correct? So you understand? And so yeah, I'm speaking, first of all, I'm speaking past. So yesterday, while I was sleeping, my son was playing. Two actions were happening at the same time. Yeah. But people tend to say yesterday when I was sleeping, my son was playing. Teacher, I have mm -hmm. a question. Yes, madam. Okay. And while is the same in the meantime? Mm. In which in which case I use in the meantime? But I I know very good. I'll give you in the I'll, time. I'll, I will give you an example within the meantime, because in the meantime is mostly for a situation. Okay, um, I will give you an example, okay? So, but before I forget, so the when and while. So it's, it's not correct to say yesterday I was sleeping when my son was playing. People would say that, and it's not correct, it's while. Why? Because I just wanted to say two actions that were happening at the same time. When you say when, that means this action finished because the second action interrupted. So, for example, yesterday I was sleeping when my son opened the door and came in the room. You see when to use when right there? Yes. So yes. what happens? I stopped sleeping because I was, you know, I was sleeping and then when my son barged in the door boom the action stopped Sorry. yes and i recommend you to you uh, to remember this because people always say that oh man yesterday i was sleeping when my son was playing mm -mm. is i was sleeping while my son was playing but if i wanted to say that i stopped because of this yeah man yesterday i was can sleeping. i have another another question please yes. uh, while is a close or, or phrase for everyday use it depends on the situation that's what that's what i want to explain to you right now is is if you want to explain two actions happening at the same time we use while remember remember when you were little and you didn't want to eat and your mother said, you don't want to eat while there are children in Africa that wish they could have one egg. Remember that? Yeah. I use that now. I say I that. <laughs> I say, you don't want to eat while there are poor kids wishing they could have that piece. Yes. So, Madeline, is, it, it depends on the situation. You know, if you tell me it's everyday use, um, that that's really depend to you what you your normal life is like. Okay, but right now, do you understand the difference, class, between while? Yes. Yeah. And when? So when is because two actions happening at the same time. The only thing is that the last action interrupted this action. Yes. Yes, I was. I was chatting with my girlfriend when my wife walked in the door. I bet I bet everyone understood that example, right? <laughs> so so what do you think I did? I, I continued chatting like no I, I can you tell me again <laughs> the the what is the difference between the while and and when please? Sure, uh, except I'm not going to tell you. Somebody's going to tell you because I want to see if they learned. Who can explain to Madeline the difference between while and when? Just one person, please. Someone <laughs> here. Um, I will try. All right, go ahead. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Uh, I understand that while is when two actions happen in, at the same time. Okay, give me an example. Um, uh, 
last night while I was sleeping, uh, my wife was playing in her cell phone. Very good. That's it. Okay. Two and actions happening. Two actions at the same time. And when is, uh, <laughs> when an action stop, uh, another one. Good. Um, I think, interrupting, uh, interrupting another, another. Yes. The second action interrupted. The, the first, first one. The first action, that's right. Mm -hmm. Can you give me the same example you gave me? By um, using when? Last night I was sleeping when my wife started screaming yeah. because she was playing. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Okay, yes, understand. Yes, I understand. Okay. At the same time, you I use while and different time I use when. Yes, well, I understand. Not well. Yes, I mean when, two happening at the same time. Yeah. The the only difference is that the two actions when you use when is because when you say when, the next action interrupted this action. Yes. For example, I like imagine imagine right now the internet goes off right now. For Boom. example, uh, teacher. For example. She is uh, speaking when, no, she is uh, speaking while she is uh, studying English. Uh, do we have two people? Uh, two people, no, only one, no. She's speaking while she's studying English? No, oh, she is, uh, she is talking by phone when no while? she's talking by phone while she's uh, studying english there you go that's good yes yeah it's okay yeah. Yes. okay thank you very okay much. i see your point very good now kids today they're watching the class while they're chatting <laughs> on, on they're their actually cell phone. chatting while they are listening <laughs> to the teacher <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes you know how sometimes people say i can't do my homework while i'm listening to music i can well i used to i remember that i, I needed to listen to music while i do my homework Can't okay do that. and madeline you said in the meantime in the meantime right correct madeline you asked me what in the meantime means uh, um she is uh, she is um by She's buying a a car. In the meantime, uh, is is working near the office. Near the office. No, in the meantime, pretty much is during that time. No. For example, I crashed my car. I crashed my I, car. Yeah, I took it to the mechanic. The mechanic, the mechanic told me, you will have your car in two weeks. So in the meantime, I take the Uber. Okay. Okay. I I do I do um um but there has to be like a little explanation. I right have now. a situation in the meantime I I do other 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 things. Um you have to give a little background information. It's like it's like what I tell you. If you, if you see me taking the Uber, you know, if you don't know me, you know, okay, like for example, me Tesla. You know, I have a Tesla. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have the same as you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Everybody sees me in a Tesla you? every day. Everybody sees me in a Tesla every day for a year, and then suddenly they see me getting off a, a normal car from an Uber, and they ask me, "Hey, where's your Tesla?" Oh man, I crashed it, and you know, I sent it to, um, you know, to Budapest so it can be fixed. <laughs> so, in the meantime, in the meantime, I will be taking the Uber. What is the meantime? <laughs> in the meantime, I get repair. Yes, in the meantime is the time in when my car gets repaired. Yes. In so, the meantime, you can use mine. Okay, yeah, good. Yes. 
It's like, yeah, okay, that's good. Hey, oh my God, I forgot my pen. Here, you can use mine. I'm not using it right now. Use it in the meantime. I study in the meantime, my, my husband is working. No. No, that's no. while. While. It's while. I, I don't know when I use in the meantime. Okay. Let's do one thing. Does everyone understand meantime? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So who can help Madeline? But pay attention, Madeline. Listen to Jordana's explanation because you will listen to her voice. It's very relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the teacher said that in the meantime, it's like during that time. You know what? I'm going to give you an example. Okay. I have to go to the bathroom, but please continue the class. So, Jordana? So, in the meantime, I will explain a bit how to use that meantime. phrase in the meantime. <laughs> okay, so did, that was a very good example. So, yeah, what did okay. you understand right there, Madeline? I'm going to... I was, I'm the teacher of the class, but I'm going to go to the bathroom. So in the meantime, Jordana will continue. What is the okay. meantime? What is the, the meantime? meantime? When a person uh, do a... Um, no, in this example, in this example, what does the meantime in cages? Two persons are, are working in the, in the same time. No, the meantime oh. here is the time I take when I am in the bathroom. Yes. Because listen to this. I'm going to go to the bathroom. So that means, and uh, so listen, I'm going to go to the bathroom. In the meantime, Jordana will continue. So that means Jordana will take the absent. class. I'm going to be absent for seven minutes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I understand. <laughs> I understand. So, but that means in seven minutes, I will go back to normal. Okay, go we'll come back. So we'll come those seven minutes is the meantime. Seven minutes, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. that, that's, that's when you say in the meantime. Yes, I understand. All right, good, thank you. So yeah, so um, that, that's a very good question, but th that's really not like a- When you go out to the bathroom, uh, in the meantime, you're gonna continue the class. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Very good. Okay. There you go. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Do you have any questions? All right. So All right. let's do it real quick. Karina, what's the difference between while and when? While is in the same time. And when then when you stop doing something or the person is doing something. You're maybe 40% correct. Okay. <laughs> because but I, I know I know I know that you understand, but give me a better explanation. What is while? While mm -hmm. is to when you compare or when you do something uh, two actions at the same time. Okay, good. Don't put more words. Don't I'm not okay. comparing, I'm not yeah. So the while two actions at the same time. Okay, good. And when? And when and when you stop when someone interrupts that you are doing something or when okay. something interrupts. The next, the next act. Good. Uh, once again, it's not when someone interrupts, it's when the action interrupts. When the action is interrupted. Yes, it was, inter action. it was interrupted by another action. By another yes. action, okay. Very good. Jaime, uh, give me an example with in the meantime. In the meantime, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I went to- I have I a good example for you. I, I, went, I went to the- <laughs> I went to the, I, I was, I went to the offices uh, and then I had, I was working. I was working, uh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, you're watching, you're watching the soccer game and there's I, half, half. I, 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 I watching, I watching the, the, the soccer, the soccer game. But there's commercials right now. In the, in, yeah, but the, uh, in the meantime, mm -hmm. in the meantime, the no, the uh, uh, in the meantime, the commercial. No, you can say I'm watching the soccer game, but is there are commercials in this moment? So in the meantime. 
I will go to the bathroom. I will go to the store and buy another six pack. I will. I take dinner. Yeah. Yeah, también you can take dinner or, you know, I was thinking a little bit more like, tiene más regias. <laughs> okay, I have one for you, Jaime. The Bitcoin, I think, it starts in September, right? Yeah. And we're in July. So what are you going to do in the meantime? In the meantime, you, you, uh, I, I, I need to, I, I want to, to learn about coin. For okay, good. Coin. Very good. That's a good, that's a, uh, that's a very good example. Okay. So yeah, um, we're in July, man. And, and the Bitcoin, start, I think it's in September, right? In September, yeah. Oh man. So in the meantime, I, I really need to learn more about this, how it works. Okay. That's a good example in the meantime. So in those, in those two months. All right. Okay. Okay. That's how it will be. Uh, well, I thank you very much. I'm very, very happy to see all of you again. And um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? And we'll continue yeah. this a good little night. bit more. Very okay. good. Yeah. Thank you for asking questions. Good job, Madeline. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 I, have, I have five minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to go get water. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.